Hey, I'm Andrew Connell. This video is an overview of one of the chapters in my course, Mastering the SharePoint Framework, that's available for uh, purchase on my site, Voitanos.io. This overview video is going to give you an idea of everything that the chapter uh, covers. You can learn more by checking out the description uh, in the notes below the video. Um, if you got any questions about this chapter or about the course in general, just make sure you drop a comment uh, below in, in the uh, below the video and I'll be sure to get back to you. So with that, let me get out of the way. Enjoy the overview to this chapter. Client-side web parts historically have only been able to be used as relatively small boxes of functionality on SharePoint pages. But in this chapter, you're gonna learn how to leverage them in alternative ways, including as full page applications, uh, otherwise known as single page apps or SPAs, uh, and even as custom tabs inside of Microsoft Teams and maybe even other options as well. So in this chapter, you're gonna learn how you can leverage SharePoint framework, client-side web parts, and more than just SharePoint. So what exactly are we gonna cover in this module? In this chapter, we're gonna focus on a couple different scenarios. We're gonna first focus on leveraging uh, the SharePoint Framework web parts as custom tabs inside of a Microsoft Teams application. And then we're also gonna see how we can leverage a SharePoint Framework web part as a full page application inside of SharePoint. So let's dive in and see how we can do this.